How's it going guys? Welcome back! So we have been hearing, according to rumors from Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, WWE pay-per-view buys for stomping grounds were stunningly low in the following role, also due to the smallest cut in years, and more TV viewers are opting to not watch Raw and SmackDown. So here's why I think this is. No, not because Shane needs to go off air. Okay, fine, maybe just a little bit. But let's start with the pay-per-view. In a previous video, we accurately predicted the results of every single match, minus one match, that being the Kofi Kingston match, which was more of a hot take slash bold take than a prediction, to be fair. But what that means is the show was so poorly booked that there was no point in watching because we already knew the results. I mean, come on. Did anyone actually think Seth Rollins was going to lose to Baron Corbin or Lacey Evans was going to beat Becky Lynch? Or a Raw superstar and Alexa Bliss is going to win the Women's Championship from SmackDown? Or let's face it, as deserved as he is, Drew McIntyre wasn't beating Roman Reigns because God forbid McIntyre actually gets that push he needs. What all this means though is WWE did a poor job booking these matches. The key to a good show are good matches, good storylines, and belief that any superstar can win the match. Every match on the card was lacking one or more of these three criteria. The Ziggler storyline, it could have been great, but they, uh, no pun intended there, but they threw it together quick as possible for that Saudi Arabia stuff. The Reigns versus McIntyre storyline, well, it could have been good, you know, three months ago when it was booked for Mania. So why aren't these storylines good anymore is the question, right? Good, good question. I like it. And it has to do part with why people aren't watching Raw and SmackDown as much. And it's this brilliant idea of a wild card rule. Since this wild card rule has come into effect, I've lost every bit of interest in WWE. And I can guarantee I'm not the only one. And I guarantee no one said, wow, I heard WWE has a wild card rule. I'm going to start watching again. End result, because of that lower ratings of course but even worse the wildcard rule has done nothing but add to confusion and incomplete strange feeling rivalries to say the least was the help raw by bringing over any hot superstars from smackdown so now instead of trying to build up storylines and rivalries wwe has been more worried about making sure roman reigns appears on both shows every single show same with kofi kingston getting a same segment and so on and so forth what's that do it pushes other guys off the card. We talk so much about this and why the super show of Raw is the reason WWE is partly in the state it is now because you need those guys. You need these guys on the card that you're pushing off so you can put Kofi Kingston on Raw where he doesn't belong, but you need those guys to have matches on Raw so they can build their characters. You know, so we can actually believe a Lacey freaking Evans has a chance to beat Becky Lynch. Because instead of that, all I can think of is the six different rivalries Shane McMahon's currently been a part of right now. The whole Raw Super Show stuff was the reason WWE had no newly built good characters for the past few years in my opinion. Now we're finally starting to get a few of them to come up through the woodworks. But now we're going back to a brand merge and in my opinion things are only going to get worse from here. If we're going to continue to have a wild card rule, there's going to continue to be people losing interest. You're going to continue to have less characters and we're going to be right back to where we was in 2016, 2017 when we split brands again because we had no characters because they was all on the same two shows. That is my opinion on why we see the pay-per-view buys down this past Sunday. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.